What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness. Wanted to talk to you guys about grip training with hex head dumbbells. Now, these are some old-style dumbbells. Actually, they're, they're not obsolete, but you don't see them very often, especially in the corporate gyms. But a lot of the hardcore gyms like myself, the old-school iron gyms, have these hidden in a corner or actually utilize these for their daily activities. Now, I've had these for over 20 years, and there's nothing wrong with them, especially when it comes time to doing grip training with it. So I want to take you guys through a couple of exercises and show you guys how to utilize these to your advantage to get better forearms and lower arm development. All right, let's get this party started. First and foremost, there's a lot of grip training videos out there that don't explain how to warm up on this uh, type of training. And I've been taught by some of the greatest out there, Paul Knight 3, Tommy Jennings, Jed Johnson, you name it. There's a lot of guys out there. Uh, but you want to get the core warmed up. You want to get that central nervous system firing. So get on that leg press or bench press or squat rack, warm the entire body up, and then get to these tiny muscles and the forearms and the hands. Now, I've got dumbbells from 15 to 40 pounds. You see how they graduate to a larger working surface and it's not that it's heavier it's just harder to hold on to because that surface gets a lot bigger now this is a couple of exercises that i do to warm up as well as how i train today i'm just picking them up and putting them down but i wanted to show you some of the exercises so uh going back and forth transferring letting that weight hang down uh when you transfer hands back and forth uh, this is a more advanced transfer. It's an air transfer, so I'm throwing it up in the air and then grabbing it before it hits the ground. It really taxes those hands and forearm muscles and tendons, and you will start to feel the burn. Now, here's another exercise, not necessarily just a warm-up, but an exercise uh, that I would do. Instead of just grabbing them and picking them up and putting them out down, this is a flip. Uh, keeping the uh, same hand, you can also transfer back and forth if you flip. But you'll see again, brothers and sisters, if you're doing this training, the way that you have to squeeze to hold on to that dumbbell, those forearms and hands are going to get taxed. Now, this is one uh, that I like to do just by holding it. I'll pick it up off a, flat, off a surface or a platform. I'll put it back down, and then I will let one finger uh, in the air or release it. So I'll go to four, and then, of course, three, eventually two. And I'll start out with that pointer finger, and then I'll move on to the middle finger, and then the ring finger, and then the pinky finger. So you're actually working all of the digits as well as all the individual muscles that run up and down the forearm. Now, there's tons of uh, scientific notations and terms and muscles and all that. I won't get into that at all because I'd actually have to look it up to tell you which ones I'm working. But you get the idea. You grab a hold of it with a different finger, especially that pinky finger, and man, oh man, you're going to be feeling it. Now, something I want to tell you, you see how high I'm holding it there? Uh, just trying to get it on the camera. I should have put the camera down because you hold that dumbbell up high and you get that rotator cuff involved and the trap and the neck and you start pulling muscles. So make sure uh, you're not holding it up high. You're just working the forearms and the hands. Uh, hold it down a little bit farther. So again, just wanted to get this on recording. Now, here we go. I did five fingers, four, three, two, one, and back to just doing individuals with the pointer, the middle, uh, the ring and the pinky finger. And again, that is very taxing. Now, here's a great angle for the camera down on the ground. Uh, this is my actual workout. Like I said before, all those exercises that I was just showing you uh, are certain exercises that you can focus on and move up and wait on, if you will, or do multiple sets on. Today, I'm just doing sets of five, uh, just showing you working up in a uh, ascending manner. We're starting with a 20, then 25, and 30, and so forth, and transferring back and forth with each hand getting heavier. Now, if you were doing a workout, you would want to make sure that you stayed at the same weight and got both arms done uh, to make sure that you were working both arms proficiently and uh, evenly because a lot of times we're a lot stronger on one side of the body than the other, like biceps, triceps, lats, chest, you name it. We are definitely stronger on one side or the other. So this is why this individual grip training is fantastic for uh, keeping the physique balanced instead of working on an imbalance with using both hands at a time. Uh, moving on to a heavier weight there. It's getting a little bit heavier. I'm actually not using any chalk. And notice when I drop the dumbbell, I get away from it to reset uh, the nerves and the tendons. And it is actually more taxing to let it go, grab a hold of it, and go more. So if you're working on, you know, just like in powerlifting. Now here we go with a little bit of chalk. This weight's starting to get heavy. Just like in powerlifting, the same thing in grip training. If you're doing anywhere from one to three or four reps, you're working on strength, okay? You're going to get a lot stronger if you're lifting a dumbbell uh, on this hex head dumbbell lift 
that's so heavy that you can barely get a couple reps. Now, the main reason I'm not able to get this 45 this next couple times is because I rushed through this workout. Now, this only took me 10, 15 minutes to do the entire thing. I was kind of in a rush, want to get it on video, but want to show you guys. Uh, but I kind of got frustrated with it. I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> so I went ahead and just got rid of the doggone thing. 45, you're too heavy. Get out the way. Let's move to the 40s. And I did get some great working sets. Again, all I was doing was sets of five today, trying to work on getting stronger as well as just a little bit of development. And just like, again, in bodybuilding, doing eight to 12 reps, you're going to be forming that muscle uh, as well as building. You get into that 15, 20, 25, even 30 rep range, you're conditioning, and that's really good too. So you want to make sure that you look good as well as have uh, total functionality. So I'm showing you that I'm doing both hands there uh, with the 40, and I believe I burned out on that last one again, just not taking enough break time. Remember, guys, these are tiny tendons, tiny muscles. They will get burned out fast. Now, again, this type of training looks great. You stand with your arms crossed. You give yourself a good old selfie there or take selfies with a bunch of people. It does look good, but it also helps with functionality. This is not just a looking muscle. It is a very functional muscle. That's a double overhand, thumbless, strapless, 455 and 405 to begin with. So it really does help out in all aspects of life. Please make sure you check out some of the other grip training videos. i got tons of them listed in the description box. And stay tuned for more. Until next time, Intensity Rules Train Hardcore, and we'll see you next video. <laughs>